Welcome back to another, uh, I guess this is Ego Unboxing or... Unbagging right now. Unbagging. As the madman is getting into the LJN collecting. Yeah, this is a Bill's collection. He so, uh, got me uh, holding on to it. Yeah, him. his friend Bill is uh, letting, us, letting us borrow them for the video at least. Yes. And uh, so we're going to show you what we got. Some of the same stuff you've probably seen in the past. Uh, if you're an LJN fan, but I think there's one or two uh, surprises there, in here that's that's not very common. No. So, uh, you want to go ahead and get the get it started? Uh, yeah, let's do these two small ones first. But this is uh, it's kind of weird. But I don't. Did he have stars on his tights? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. But it's uh, John Stud. Big John Stud. And these are the uh, the little Bendoms, uh, LJN so, Bendoms, I think. These pose better than that Raven figure I showed you last time with the gentle hug. Yeah, these are like the late 80s, right? I would assume Here's a, uh, it's something on the back. There's Nikolai Volkov uh, right there. Those aren't that great. Yeah. And uh, yeah, it looks like 1988 uh, or 1985. Can't make it out. LJN. I don't know if you guys can see that. No, it's tiny, bro. I can't make this out. And I'm looking dead Titan at it. Titan Sports. Yeah, I can make that, but I don't see a year. Yeah, it looks like 1985 is what it looks like to me. So that's kind of cool. Got uh. Yeah, he's had these forever and a day. So I thought it really cool. Yeah, these are like childhood things, right? Yeah, yeah. He's held on to them. Yeah, that's that's pretty neat. There he is. Getting to the other stuff here in a minute. He actually still has some of the stuff. The clothing and the stuff. Clothing, the accessories. Yeah. That's what's hard to find with the LGN figures this, is the accessories. This so. stuff here costs you arm and a leg. Oh yeah, that's that's uh, the cool uh, stuff. Matter of fact, I tell you what, we'll go buy accessories and I'll put it back. Alright. Uh, right there. See. Oh, there it is. And this is Nikola and his hat. <laughs> which is pretty cool. Which, I mean, it's really cool. I mean, God only knows if you had to buy that hat, what in the hell you'd have to pay for it. You know what I mean? But Bill's a stickler about keeping stuff, and he kept it. And That's he, pretty neat, because, you know, like, I didn't even really know they had accessories until I saw I didn't remember stuff. it, dude, and I had a few of them when I was a kid, but I just don't remember. Yeah, because I bought some for him, from him, mm -hmm. uh, not for him, but from him, I guess, last year. Mm-hmm. And uh, a couple of them had accessories, and I thought that was cool. Like, I knew Miss Elizabeth had an accessory. Yeah, she had a dress. Had, like, a yeah. skirt or whatever. Yeah. But I didn't know anybody else did, so but, it's pretty uh, cool. I wonder, like, why did they put the metal in these, but they didn't in these? Because well, that would have made these a lot more fun to play with, you know what I yeah, mean? Yeah, these are figures, and those were bendoms or whatever, like. I mean, I can do the same pose. <laughs> Ta-da, twins. <laughs> Yeah, that's his midget version. Yeah, uh, the wrestling it's one Mexico. here in Mexico. Yeah, <laughs> so. at least a guy in a furry outfit. Uh, you, you got Big John Stud or Nikolai Volkov um, yeah. memories? Uh, and there's Big John Stud, the large version. You know what I remember off. most about Nikolai, and it really has nothing to do with the uh, WWE, is that they did a show where the ring didn't show up and he pulled out wrestling mats and they did a show it was kind of like the uh, wrestling without a ring yeah but a lot of people gave him hell about it and he's like we had to put on entertainment for these children that's why we're here yeah and they did it and i was like to me that was cool uh when it comes to big john stud and it's bad that i remember this but i made the body slam challenge of course and all that but later on in years i started i always been a fan of harley davidson and the marlboro man mm -hmm. well he's the bar, he's the uh, bouncer in harley oh, davidson really? and the marlboro man really in that. the bar so he had a little bit bigger belly back then but uh i don't really have a lot of big john stud memories like just the body slam stuff yeah. with andre that's i mean it. that's it for me too i guess i mean uh he, he won one of the rumbles that was unofficially like the rumble I got you. Uh, that was what else I was trying to remember. Uh, give me him. Because he's another one of the accessory. Uh, but oh, what? Hillbilly Jim and the hat. <laughs> That's uh, pretty cool. I thought it was cool. I mean, because they actually, I ain't going to say they still ain't perfect, but it ain't going off. But again, yeah. it ain't like you could play with it exactly. Right. You could, but you couldn't. I mean, they were kind of like a big ass. Look, it's uh, me. 
I swear, you just need that damn hat. <laughs> and I saw a guy earlier today that had a hat almost oh, wow. just like that. Yeah, that's that's what I'm trying to get to. Uh, now I just got to get the chest and the arms. Yeah. <laughs> I've got the beard and the overalls. <laughs> now, uh, um, Hillbilly Jim, memories for me is, um, I don't know, I guess remembering him from the cartoon, I think is, uh, I think that's my biggest memory of Hillbilly Jim, just from that, you know, rock and wrestling cartoon or whatever. You know what I remember? When, uh, what were the, the ones that come out that did the, uh, slop drop, the two bro Right, right, but right. But that he come out ones. with, God ones, thank you. But he sung that song, Don't Come Messing With The Country Boy, or Don't Go Messing With The Country Boy. Well, that's what I remember, is him singing the song. I don't think I've ever seen a Hillbilly Jim match. I remember him, uh, managing them for a short period of time. And I think the only real Hillbilly Jim match I can remember is where he, like, tagged with the midgets or whatever. At one of the WrestleManias or something. That's right. Yes, yeah. him, wasn't it? Yeah, that's when uh, King Kong Bundy did Splash. Yep. yep. Okay. And then the other one that came with the accessory was JYD and his uh, chain. And, and, and boy, collar. you know, in 2021 now, I realize how really, really racist that looks. <laughs> yeah, but it, it wasn't. I mean, know, I know, but if you look at it without knowing what the hell this is about, you're like, oh, now what kind of crazy ass cracker stuff's going on there? <laughs> 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 but I it's mean, horrible. he was junkie our dog. You know, this was supposed to be a leash and a chain. I mean, it wasn't meant a slavery type thing, but yeah. the wrong people see that. Oh, yeah. You know, somebody been ahead of fit. Uh, JYD, man, like, I can remember tons of stuff from him, but I guess biggest thing was really the like i met him uh one of the first independent wrestling events i ever went to oh yeah you told me and uh so that's a cool memory for me other than he didn't look like jyd he looked like you know unemployed uncle or something like he didn't have the beard no nah, no beard had like old truckers hat on old t-shirt like and he didn't gain all that yeah weight. he wasn't trying to portray that he was jyd he yeah. was just a guy that was there um yeah, and I tell you one reason I remember him. I was on a lot of stuff, but the oddest thing I remember him doing is he did a run in at ECW. Yep. And I was like, if well, anybody no, no here beer. looks out of place, it's him. It's him for sure. And it like it just didn't work. I was like, wow. Well, I, I get Paul trying to give a surprise at every show, but I was just like, wow, this just doesn't work at all. In any <laughs> and way. I just learned this here recently, but uh, I think it was. The Bret Hart documentary on A and E, I think mm -hmm. is where I heard it at. Either that or I read or something. But in Canada, you know, he wrestled in Canada for Stu, and he was like yeah. Sweet Daddy Ritter or whatever. Yeah. I didn't realize that was supposed to be a pimp gimmick. Okay. I think Sweet Daddy Ritter was supposed to be a pimp. Well, he was also Yellow Dog too. Yeah, so. <laughs> in a in a mask and this weird body outfit. Yeah. Yeah, so, uh, this is real nice Sylvester Ritter. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, sweet daddy Ritter, and he was a pimp. <laughs> I'm like, well, think about that. that man, he, he was a pimp, a junkyard dog, and Kamala was from Mississippi, and he was from Uganda, Africa. So, <laughs> yeah, it is what it is. <laughs> but uh, he told me this. He said he, these were the tag team belts that uh, came with the British Bulldogs. Okay, he didn't have the British Bulldogs. I do. I bought them. Oh, okay. But I couldn't afford the belts. So, but he, he was like, okay, well, you got two options. He's like, you can put them with yep. the Iron Sheik and Koloff. Right. Or I got the next one I was going to show you. But I was going to show you Iron, Iron Sheik. Iron Sheik looked really good. Got a couple little yeah, He's probably and one of the better ones you got for sure. Yeah. I'm just really going to really play with Nick, with, with Cope, Ivan, and him. You know, you know, unless you're beating him up. Yeah, that's true. So, but I, th I thought the belts were really cool. Yep. All your other options would be... Greg the Hammer Valentine. And Brutus Beefcake, Rhythm and Blues. Yep. And uh, Greg's letting his... He needs to dye his roots. His blonde hair is coming out. So. He told me that was the reason he, he, he painted the hair as he was trying to make Rhythm and Blues. Yeah, so, at least it makes sense with that one. Yeah. But uh, Greg doesn't look like Greg in the face, does he? Uh, none of them really do. Uh, I well, mean, uh, shoot, I don't know. Some of them are pretty much dead on. Well, Iron Sheet because it's a bald dude with a. But, but Nikolai's pretty much dead on. 
Maybe. A lot of them are, but they just did. They looked at Greg and they're but like, But not Hammer, huh? They're like, good luck, brother. Yeah. <laughs> We're going to give you some blonde hair, but Bill's going to take it away from you. <laughs> <laughs> See, that makes me wonder, like, what was the accessories with these other ones? I don't think all of them had it. Or they may have it, you just don't remember. That's what I'm saying. True, true. <laughs> but Sorry about that. This one is really weird because I'll tell you what he told me. <laughs> He said he painted everything black. If you look, you can see a little bit of paint on his face. I don't face. think he painted him black because the one I have is black as well. No, no I'm telling you, it was. But anyway. He may have tried to paint something on his face. He but said like, he was trying to paint something on his face, but for some reason, my friend Bill thought uh, Ricky the Dragon Steamboat would have made a good ultimate warrior. <laughs> so. But maybe he meant Dingo Warrior. Maybe that's, maybe what, that's what he meant. Yeah. But. This is another one where I look at it, I'm just like, because I asked him, I was like, who the hell is that? And he's like, that's Ricky Steamboat. I'm like, where? Because <laughs> if you look at him, he damn near looks like Inoki. He looks like, like anybody but, but Ricky Steamboat. Not Steamboat. It, <laughs> this is the pose, maybe, but I mean, if you look at his face. And look at the, even the body isn't, he, he was never a big guy, not like that. He was yeah. an average Joe. But yeah, it's it's hard. Like, Ricky Steamboat. I'm like, yeah, yeah I don't see not it. quite, brother. <laughs> That's one of those like you need Steamboat right yeah, on his butt. No kidding. Was, and like it doesn't see anything. So I was mm -hmm. like, That's why I was like, who the hell is this? But yeah, this is 1988 with him. Yeah. So I assume the small ones were too. Yeah, it's it's pretty cool uh, collection for sure. Definitely a, a good jump start. Yeah. Um, I just bought a couple of Hogan's that are not the LJN, but it's like the WCW version of this figure, of these type figures, the rubber figures. And kind of like the Sting one I had last time? Yeah. And uh, I got an NWO version and a yellow and red version. So waiting for those to come in. So pretty excited about okay. that. Cool. Okay. Um, Bring them out here and show. Yeah, I got I got a pretty, pretty big growing collection. Uh, I started adding the, like I say, the WCW guys into it. And I've got like Harlem Heat and I now have these Hogan's and I think I have a Macho, so it's pretty cool. Probably the biggest one I've seen, and you, you met the guy too, but he was at a mom's trash can and he had a whole collection there, and he said he wanted to sell them. Blame but, Ray Fury. Yeah, I was going to say, but Ray Fury told this guy something and that dude will not let go of them figures for anything. Like this under. is like a $15 figure, yeah. right? Uh, well, and with that condition, you probably get no, 25 no, Well, opinions. okay, 15 to 20 he yeah. was on like 150. Oh yeah, he, he was like somehow Fury had convinced this dude he was walking on a gold mine, and I'm like, brother, and we literally showed him on eBay what they're going for, and he's like, oh, oh Ray Fury said so, and they're, that's and he's gonna come work. by him. He he literally came to two shows, yeah, paid to set a table up and everything, and, and didn't sell. He job. was he was only there to sell them to Ray Fury yeah. because Ray Fury was gonna give him like a thousand dollars for these figures or something. <laughs> But I mean, he had people I never even knew they were toys. Yep. And I was like, that sucks. And you couldn't get him to sell nothing. Nope. I got a trade out yeah. of him. That's what I guess. Um, and that was because he had like three of the one I got and he didn't have <laughs> the one I had. And I'm like, look, you got three of them. Like, it's 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 an even trade, I promise. Like, But you couldn't get him to that? And then the bad part is I was thinking that was Teddy Hart's daddy and it wasn't. <laughs> It was like Ted R. C. D. and I was thinking that was. Oh, Ted, okay. uh, I remember. He yeah. showed me him. I was like, but I, I only guy? got him because I thought it was Teddy's daddy, and I was way <laughs> wrong. So, uh, you know, even us want to be collectors, <laughs> it can be yeah. wrong at times. You ain't know, talking about bubble baths with your toys. Yeah. Well, you know, fig baths. Still freaking me out with that. A couple of those probably need some fig yeah, baths. Yeah, I got one or two more. At least soaking some soap and water. Yeah. But uh, yeah, that's uh, what I just call it the Bill Collection because it Bill's got me keeping a watch on them. Yep. So very cool to be able to do that. And uh, Bill, if you're watching, you want you want me to hold some stuff? I'll hold some stuff for you too. <laughs> so, <laughs> on, but, uh, on a hold is like car collection or something because I know he's got a ton of. Yeah, he's working on them right now, <laughs> trying to get all them things separated. So, but yeah, yeah so uh, it's been a pretty cool episode or uh, unbagging. Uh, really cool LJNs, especially the smaller ones. I haven't seen those. I've seen like the thumb wrestling ones where you got the hole in the butt, but I haven't ever really seen these. So I may try to find some of those. And yeah. uh, and they're bendy. That's what I like. It's like ah. You can actually pose the legs and the arms. Yeah. So, uh, 
it's a head maybe i'm not sure i they mean didn't have much of a neck so. right <laughs> but for 1988 dude I mean, that, that's advanced that's technology no you, kidding, know? you know so uh, maybe get, try to get some of those because i think that's cool and really hadn't seen them but uh hey guys we thank you for uh checking it out so until next time watch wrestling and collect toys hey later